I remember even discovering something as simple as, as vibrato. Like I didn't really know what that was or use it or anything. And, and I was doing the same thing, like where I would take a record, slow it down, and learn, try to learn the solo. And I was learning um, an Iron Maiden solo, and I think it was an Adrian Smith thing. And he played some kind of, you know. And, and slow down, it sounded like. And I was like, light bulb, that's how you do it. You know, that's like that vibrato. And I, and I started to listen to, wow, they're bending from the note up to another note, then back down and up. And that's how you get that sound. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really realize. That. But you even hear it. You know, when you're first learn, learning guitar and you're trying to pick up these solos, you're learning an ACDC thing, and why doesn't it sound like it? Like, I'm playing the right notes, and you realize Angus is doing this cool vibrato, and it's only until you discover that, either, you know, by somebody showing it to you, or watching somebody do it, or, or stumbling upon it, like I did with the record, you know, yeah. with the slowed down uh, version, that that's when you have those moments, and, and they start to kind of develop your style. When somebody starts to kind of mimic a certain player, it almost makes you think of, you know, think of that player like, oh, that sounds like this guy because of something like vibrato, which to a lot of uh, maybe, you know, players starting out, you don't think about that too much. Right. You know, um, but the other thing that I, you know, which I think is kind of similar uh, with guitar, especially elect electric guitar with distortion, you're playing, um, that was this learning curve thing in the beginning was how to actually make it sound good. You know, because even if you're playing the right notes, there's so many things that you could make happen that make it sound bad. Like, right. you know, whether you're, you're pressing down too hard, right. you're slightly bending the note when you shouldn't be, uh, you're not using vibrato. You know, it's like if you played a simple line, you know. <laughs> Now, if you play those same notes, well, the notes are the same, but they're just kind of boring because there's not, there's no inflections, there's no vibrato. Right. But also, you can actually make it sound even. You can make it sound bad. I mean, if you play it, um, you know, you have strings ringing out that shouldn't be there. Right. You're pulling. You, you're pulling sharp, so the note now sounds out of tune, even though the guitar is in tune. Guitar is really tricky that way. You can make something. Sound pretty cool, or you can. <laughs> you can make it sound like. Purposely sound like one It'll of those take shreds a video. Guitar player and, and making him play bad. So, <laughs> um, so, so that's one of those things that you learn is is how to not make it sound bad. I mean, it sounds like simple, but it, it's it's and, tricky when you're going from note to note. You know, I I don't want unless I'm doing this on purpose. I don't want the previous note to still be ringing right. out, or I don't want any strings. And you'll really learn how to mute because, especially when you have distortion. You have, I mean, that's what really is going on in the background at any right. given time. Right. So when you're, even if you're just playing a, like a scale kind of thing, you know, you have to be conscious of making sure that other strings you're not playing aren't ringing out. Exactly. Because now they're amplified even more. There's distortion. It's loud. Anything that you're doing that you're not paying attention to is going to get, you know, um, magnified so those are things you learn how to do i mean i even learned things where if i was playing notes that were on lower strings down here i'm using the flesh of my pinky and the, my palm to mute the higher strings i'm not playing right. or as i'm leaving a string you know or let's say i'm playing e here with my pinky you can't really see it but 
I'm muting the low E just a tiny, tiny bit. And it's like these little things that are, they're very minute. You can't really see them happening, right. but they start to become part of your guitar playing DNA. Like you just start to naturally do it. But if you're not aware of it, you can play, you know, all this stuff ringing out. You know, if you're not purposely trying to do that, it could again make the guitar sound bad. And so the, the difference between hearing like a more seasoned kind of player and then somebody that's just not quite there yet or they're learning or, you know. Even with the right hand, you know, you mentioned palm muting, um, the technique where, you know, now everybody plays differently, holds their pick differently, whatever, but I play kind of with an open palm like this, which is kind of typical. Um, but what it enables you to do is you can use your pinky to to mute the higher strings right. and you could use a, your the back of your palm here to mute the lower strings um, and even a little bit of the front so you create this sort of hole of where the note is that you want right. and then around it those strings aren't ringing right. so the opposite would be if you were just playing and some people do this where your your hand was completely detached from uh, it disconnected from the guitar. So if you're playing, I don't know why I'm doing all down picks. I don't have to. <laughs> so my pinky down, but um, it's actually hard for me to play without putting my right. hand down. But sure. what I'm trying to show you is that my hand isn't touching any of the other strings. So I'm in danger of all that stuff ringing out. So the difference is when I have my hand down, then I'm, I feel like more in control over the strings that I'm not playing sure. at any given time. And especially, I mean, with any sort of guitar playing, but I, I like to say, especially with rock and metal guitar playing, because the distortion is just bringing all that stuff out even more. Right. You know, if this was a clean sound, you even if, something was ringing a tiny bit you're not going to hear it as much as if it's distorted and loud and to take that a step further if you're recording and you're you have headphones on you're highly conscious of every little oh my god forget forget about it then you're like wow i never noticed that was ringing out so these little techniques of stopping notes <laughs> of notes from ringing just playing when you're playing lines like that right. is a big deal.